So the Synchro Festival is now well underway, and within it you can expect to see a whole variety of decks, such as Speedroid, Stardust, Adamancipator, and of course the greatest Synchro deck of them all. True Draco. God, it's just so great to see such a diverse amount of Synchro monsters being run during the event. Good to see the community has once again found a way to make this game even more boring than standard ranked, so good job guys, keep up the good work. But for those of you who do actually like fun, and want to try a bit of a unique take on an anime favourite deck, run by one of my favourite anime characters, Discount Seto Kaiba, here's my Resonator build. So here's today's deck list. Now just a reminder, if you're enjoying this kind of content, want to see more of it, or just find it useful in any way, make sure to let me know by leaving a like on today's video and considering subscribing to the channel whilst you're down there, especially if you're a returning viewer and still haven't subscribed yet. Come on guys, do me a solid. Alright, so before I do absolutely anything, I've got to give a little quick shout out to the person who gave me the idea to use Synchro Call in this deck, which is Super Nix. I'll leave a little link to his thing down below and whatever on screen. But the, the entire core of this deck isn't really anything to do with his, I didn't try to copy his deck too much, but I did like the idea of Synchro Call a lot, so I definitely took that from him. Super cool idea. The whole idea of it is you get to summon out the Hot Red Dragon Art Fiend during your opponent's turn, which I don't think many people, if anyone, is doing. I saw on the uh, Master Duel Meta's website that there's basically no one playing Synchro Call, so it's probably not the most competitive way to play the deck, but in my opinion it's just by far the most fun. Just the whole idea of just summoning a card that just says no to your opponent is just, I don't know, it's just really fun to me. So the idea of summoning out this Synchro, using Synchro Call, summon out your boss monster during your opponent's turn, which is a pretty hard thing to do in general, so it's not exactly the most optimal combo. It's just really cool. It's very easily disrupted, so I wouldn't call it broken or anything, but it's a cool combo. So shout out to Super Nix for that one. Alright, let's get into the rest of the deck list. So as per normal, the entire deck list here is going to be typed out in the description down below, so if you don't know any cards on screen right now, just look at the description, you'll see it in there. Also, I won't be going through every individual card during the deck list portion of the video, as that would be silly. All of that kind of stuff will be talked about as I go through each card during the gameplay. So, the core concept of this deck is pretty simple. You've got your little resonator tuner monsters, and you've got a bunch of level 4s all of which are aimed to create a Red Rising Dragon, which then bring back the tuners and go into a variety of combos, all ending on massive, great big, dark dragon synchro monsters. Generally the aim of this deck for an optimal end board will be something like Red Supernova Dragon, which is a non- like a card that cannot be destroyed by card effects, which has a quick effect to banish whenever your opponent activates a monster effect, which will banish their entire board. There, and you also have your Hot Red Dragon Art Fiend, which is a target Omni Negate. Other than that, you can also summon cards like Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, even cards like Baron de Fleur, by using your Hot Ear Squadron during your opponent's turn. So overall, it's a pretty strong deck. I wouldn't say it's like the best deck in the event or anything like that, but it's a pretty fun little neat deck, and yeah, let's get into the actual gameplay. So today, I have three replays to show you guys, all of which showing different starts, different end boards, but do keep in mind that with Resonators in particular, it's really hard to show off individual like combos for this deck, since it has so many extenders in the list that trying to get off like individual combos just doesn't really happen very often, so you're always going to have different end boards in most games, so keep that in mind. I'll try to show a few combos here and you can try to like learn from them, but it's kind of hard to show off like actual specific combos since you don't really use specific combos with this deck, since like the entire deck is an extender. Alright. So this is the replay you would have seen in the main video yesterday. So we can activate our Crimson Resonator to special summon itself to the board. You can only do this if you have um, no monsters on your side of the field. So make sure if you have Crimson Resonator in hand to use it first. Then we use our Dawnwalker. This card summons the Ant from the deck. We go straight into a Chaos Ruler. Chaos Ruler looks at the top 5, gets to add a Light or Dark to hand. Plus this card when it's in the graveyard can banish a Light and Dark from Grave to special summon itself back to the board. In this case we find a Witch. Then because we now have a Dark Dragon on board, or Dark Dragon Synchro, we can use our Resonator to spare summon two tuners from the deck. And from here you can go into a shit ton of things. In this case, we are aiming for a board where we can set up for a Hot Red Dragon Art Fiend during our opponent's turn. So we're trying to get the perfect amount of tuners and Dark Monsters on board, with a Synchro Call on board so we can, yeah, do that. Because Synchro Call revives a tuner from Grave, then Synchro Summons using it, and monsters on board. 
So we summon a level 2 and a level 1. Res Resonator gains 3000 life points targeting the Synchro. Summon the Witch, go into another Red Rising. Red Rising bring back the Tuna, Witch gets to search the deck for a monster. The effect failures, in this case it doesn't really matter because we don't care too much about that anyway. But good on him anyway, good on him for trying. Witch is going to search for our Hot Ear Squadron, this lets the Synchro summon during our opponent's turn. Using this card in hand and a monster on board. We summon our level 3 from hand, using just special summon itself. Summoning out Red Dragon Abyss. Oh sorry, Red Dragon Art Fiend. What's the name of this card? Sorry, Red Dragon, uh, Hot Red Dragon Art Fiend. Oh, it is Abyss, yeah. So this is just a quick effect Omni Negate, which targets a card. So it has to target a card to Omni Negate. And just targets only any card your opponent plays, can just negate it. Passing the turn. As you can see, we have the perfect amount of on board. We have a level 8, we have a level 2, we have a level 1. And we have another level 2 in the graveyard, I believe. So we're going to bring back the level 2. He tries to pull by the grave. Thankfully we have a negate on board, so it doesn't matter. You bring back, bring back the level 2, use it with the other level 2 and level 8. Perfect levels to make level 12. Going straight into... A hot red dragon art feed, which this card is a basically when it's synchro summoned, you can activate this effect. For the rest of this turn, your opponent cannot activate cards. So all these cards you max seed, he can't even use. Also, cards your opponent controls can activate their effects, and your opponent can activate cards or effects in response to his activation. So this card generally it's meant to be summoned during like your turn, like when you're going second. So if your opponent has a bunch of negates on board or something, you can just say no to them. But in this case, because we're using Synchro Cool, we can summon it during our opponent's turn, and now he can't play the game at all. And from here, he just concedes. To be fair, he didn't actually have to concede, because I didn't have Lethal yet, so... But he chose to anyway. Alright, so that's one little combo. Game 2. So with this deck, if you want to actually get out your big boss monster, you don't actually need a whole lot. I know a lot of these replays I show, like, me extending a bunch and stuff like that. But you don't need a whole lot. Your basic combo actually only needs a Crimson Resonator and any level 4. And getting hold of either a level 4 or a Crimson Resonator is super easy considering you have things like Resonator Command which searches for both of them and you have your other Resonator Searcher which searches for your Resonator. So it's really easy to get a start with this deck. This and any level 4 will lead on a Red Supernova Dragon which is basically your boss of the deck. So. I think we summoned at this jewel, but in this case I have a bunch of extenders anyway, so. So same similar play as last time, we're gonna summon this first, summon our other resonator, special summons level 4 from hand. Going to Red Rising. This brings back a tuna from grave again, and we get a search again. Now a cool little combo to know with this deck actually is which of the Black Forest can actually search for Nibiru. Which is really interesting, considering your main boss monster of the deck, which is Red Supernova Dragon. Its effect allows you to banish all of your opponent's monsters, or sorry, banish every card your opponent controls actually, whenever they activate a monster effect. But he banishes himself for the board until your next end phase. Which is kind of neat, because he like removes himself from the board for a little bit, meaning you can Nibiru safely. So if your opponent activates an effect, you banish everything they have, then if they continue to summon somehow, you can then Nibiru them. So it's really cool. So this card, plus Witch of the Black Forest, can literally just make this boy really easily. And then, obviously, since you have Nibiru in hand, you can then do that combo. So it's really cool. Alright. I don't think we do that here, though, because I think I'm showing you something else. Yeah, so you can also search for your Poppier Squadron. Summon out our Chaos Ruler. Looking at the top five. Unfortunately, he Ash Blossoms, but that doesn't matter too much. It just means we don't get that little extra search. Going to use our Crimson Resonator to special summon a level 2 and a level 1 from the deck. Keep in mind, a good thing to note with Chaos Ruler is it needs a light monster to resummon itself back to the board once it's in the graveyard. So a good thing to summon with Crimson Resonator is the level 1 tuner Chain Resonator because it happens to be the like only light monster outside of I think Nibiru in the deck. So if you want to resummon this during the turn, which most times you do, a good idea is to search for Chain Resonator basically every time with Crimson. Unless you're going for a particular combo like I did last year. Then we go straight into our Red Rising. 
Red Rising, gonna bring back the Little Resonator. Gain some life points again. And from here, we have the perfect amount of cards on board to summon our boss monster. So this is level 12, so we had an 8, a 1 and a 2, I believe. So we had 2, a 1 and a 1, and we made the level 12. When the little resonator guy, Synch Synchron Resonator is sent to the graveyard, it can add one of your resonators back to hand. So setting up for next turn as well. Banishing some boys, let's bring back the Chaos Ruler. Now the reason, because we could have actually summoned this sooner, but the reason we went into a Red Rising Dragon as well, is because we particularly want a level 6 and a level 8 on board with our Hop Ear Squadron. Because this gives us a choice. Because this card lets us Synchro Summon during our opponent's turn, as you're about to see. We summon two Synchro Monsters we have in the deck we can summon. In this case, when our opponent, we see what our opponent's playing, we decide to go into... We decide to go into... A Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Which everyone knows what this card does. I, there's no particular reason I chose it in this situation, I just wanted to show off this one. So level 2, level two plus level 6 makes you a Crystal Wing. I could have also done the level 8 plus the... Um, level 2 to make Baron de Fleur, which is again, big Omni the gate, you guys have all seen this card before. So, choice of two monsters there to summon. And yeah, from here, my opponent has to play through this really nasty board. Summons out a bunch of stuff, summons out two dragons, tries to use this monster's effect, I then, I then decide to banish his whole board. I probably pre-jacked this a little bit, but... I think it's fine. We still have another negate on board, and it's, yeah, this card, so. <laughs> it's not like he can swing over this anytime soon, I don't think. Oh, dude in graveyard can banish himself to search for a resonator. We can use our resonator command to discard a resonator to search for another wandering king. So we have another level 4 in hand. This guy can spit a summon himself whenever we have another resonator dudes on board. Summon out our Red Rising, try to bring back a Tuna. Gain some more life points. Then we're Synchro Summon into our Calamity. This means if our opponent happens to have some kind of hand trap or some kind of like, I don't know, that Scarecrow thing, whatever the hell it's called, that stops us trying to lethal him here, he won't be able to do it anymore because this card just says no. Me, he's just dead on board. Alright. Game three. Oh, game three. Final game. So yeah, do keep in mind, <laughs> this deck is just entirely extender, so... Although I'm showing off some kind of, like, big, extravagant combos here, they don't really... The deck doesn't have to do that. You only need a level 2 and a level 4 when you can make it. Because literally, you can just summon a Crimson Resonator, summon out your Witch from hand, or whatever level 4 you have, Go into your level 6 card, wherever it is, go into your level 6, bring back your Crimson Resonator, then just summon a, whatever the levels is, a 1 and a 3 I think, and you can just summon this instantly. So it's just this card, summon this, go into level 6, bring this back, bring out a 1 and a 3 from the deck, and you should just have enough to make your boss monster, so. Very simple. It's not like this deck has, there is a lot of extenders, you can make this combo a lot greater as you see me doing here, but... Yeah, these combos don't have to be as extravagant as the ones I'm showing you. Especially considering I think every replay I showed you I actually had the Witch, which is a nice extender combo. Alright, once again searching for the Hot Ear Squadron. Gonna Synchro Summon in again into Chaos Ruler. Look at the top 5 cards, add 1 to hand. Either a Light or a Dark Monster to hand. In this case we got another Witch. Crimson, bringing out, once again, the same cards as you saw before, a level 1 and another level 1. As well as making sure to bring out the light monster, very important. Going straight into our abyss. Bringing back the chaos guy again. Summoning out the level 4, because we can. Going once again into another resonator boy. Be summoning the resonators. This time going into Bane, using the 9 and the 1, because Bane can then tribute off a monster to re back the Art Fiend we used as the material, so. 
just gives us an extra big, this card doesn't really do a whole lot for us, but it does give us an extra big attack on board, so might as well summon it. I actually had a game where I won because of this card too, so it's actually really cool. Because this card, you can actually tribute itself to bring back a boss monster. So this card, in combination with this guy, who when he's destroyed, brings back, well, this guy from the graveyard, means my opponent gave me a little loop where he kept destroying my monster, I'd bring this card back, tribute him, bring back the boss monster, and just did that on repeat. So, it does have its, it does have its occasional win conditions. So yeah, tribute a monster, bring back our boss. As you can see, once again, we have the level 6, the level 8, and the Hoppier Squadron for if we want to go for whichever one of the two um, options I showed you last game. In this case, I want to show you the other one, so... Yeah, I went straight into... My boy. My Baron de Fleur. Now, I had a big issue with this game, and that was... I don't know what the fuck my opponent is playing, so I was trying to read my opponent's cards, I was like... I could negate anything here, but I don't know what to negate. I'm like, do I negate this monster reborn? Here's this annoying card in the graveyard that apparently resummons itself. So it's just like, I did not know what the hell this deck was, so I had no idea what I'm negating. I think I should negate that monster reborn, as I think I let him go a little bit too long. And he summoned a crystal wing, which is very annoying for me. But in this case, I can negate his, yeah, his Herald, and if he tried to activate this in response, I could have negated it with Fleur. But this does mean now, if he activated another monster effect, or another card effect, I can't really negate it, because then he would negate in response and I'd lose my monster, so... Yeah, I think I let him go a little bit too much here, so... Unfortunately, he dest destroys my floor, because if I try and negate it, he'll just negate me, so... But that doesn't matter too much, we still have this guy on board. Which means he can't use a negate now. Level 2, summon level 4. Bring out a Red Rising. Red Rising searching again, plus trying the tuner back. The Witch is going to be searching for a Synchron Resonator. This, when you search with Witch, it means during that turn you won't be able to use the card's effects. But that doesn't matter for the little special summon text at the top of a lot of the cards, including Synchron Resonator, which is if there's a Synchron monster on the field, you can special summon this card from hand. So although you can't use the rest of the effect for the turn, you can use that first effect. This is the same thing that goes for um, our Wandering King Wildman as well, so if you search for Wandering King, it can still special summon itself from hand, even though you can't use the effect for the turn. And the only other card thing that matters with, with this deck is there's a level 3 tuner as well, which I don't think I used yet. It's a level 3 tuner as well, that card you just special summon, doesn't worry about the, uh, the uh, Witch's effect. So Wandering King, banishing self, sending for another tuner, oh there it is actually. <laughs> Mini goes into our level 8 again. Look through the top 5, so we need to add. Could add a Skullmeister, which is pretty good in this situation. I think it's what we actually added. Yeah, added a Skullmeister. This way, if he has any effects in Grave to activate, maybe this card later on, I could just negate it. Then we have special summon the two guys, giving us the perfect levels for our Calamity. Meaning, he can now no longer use this effect. He can't even use it in response to the dragon. He can't use any effects from now on. So from here, it's like guaranteed game over. Yeah, and just for a little bit added salt, banishing our guy, bringing back two tuna monsters, bringing back the two 100 attack boys. And yeah, from here, can't use any effects, he's just dead. Especially considering when this damage is sold, think you just the attack, or the attack of that monster back to your opponent's life point as well. Alright. So that's going to be it of to, uh, to today's replays, I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. Laters. Hey big brother, can I watch Spongebob? Shut up Mokuba, I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.